Those sanctions are nothing compared to what ultimately will have to happen. President Trump's reaction to new U.N. sanctions on North Korea. He's not terribly optimistic. Tonight's senior foreign affairs correspondent Greg Palka continues his reporting from South Korea on preparations for a worst-case scenario. Modern-day war in Korea. Most analysts say if it happened, it would be ugly. Troops fighting for their lives, casualties in the hundreds of thousands. Why the world is trying to head off a conflict with North Korea. A new set of sanctions was approved by the U.N. Security Council. The United Nations Security Council uh, spoke with one voice again, uh, recognizing the global threat that uh, DPRK, North Korea, constitutes. And these are the most severe sanctions yet uh, laid on North Korea. We'll see what choices the North Koreans make. One early choice, defiance. A Kim Jong-un regime official said North Korea would fight back against the U.S. The DPRK is ready to use any form of ultimate means. The forthcoming measures by DPRK will make the U.S. suffer the great pain it's never experienced in its history. As the U.S. and its allies, South Korea prepare at least for the military option. This is about as close in feel as you're going to get to war on the Korean Peninsula, at least for now, anyway. South Korean and U.S. Marines and a live fire exercise. Machine guns and grenade launchers, tanks and armored vehicles, mortars and artillery, tightly paced maneuvers through a rugged and secluded firing range in southeastern South Korea. All aimed at a target at the end of the valley, read that, North Korea. Sure, a lot of people are focused on Peninsula, but for us, it's business as usual. Business as usual, but some tough business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, Marine Corps is the nation's 911 force, and uh, we're ready to answer the call. This is one of several exercises during the year the Marines and U.S. military are involved in here. In part, a show of force. In part, a practical lesson in fighting alongside each other. We're just out here exercising to make sure that uh, we can react to any situation, any uh, contingency, and work together with our Korean partners. And if it comes to it, these young Marines, some yet to see action, will know who they can count on. Considering this sanctions resolution passed by the U.N. Security Council is the toughest to date concerning North Korea's ballistic missile and nuclear weapons program, Pyongyang is furious. Before the vote even took place, the government issued a very harsh statement warning they will act tough on the, quote, U.S. gangsters and promised pain and suffering. The forthcoming measures to be taken by the DPRK will cause the U.S. the greatest pain and suffering it has ever gone through in its entire history.